President Mohamed Buhari issues warning to Tinubu despite his victory, reviews what he must do immediately after assuming office. President Mohamed Buhari has stated that the recent Nigerian elections have shown that voters have awakened to their power and that politics in the country will no longer be business as usual. He made a statement during a meeting with a delegation led by the newly installed Emir of Dossi, Mohamed Sanusi, at the State House in Abuja. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. President Buhari has stated that the recent Nigerian elections have shown that voters have awakened to their power and that politics in the country will no longer be business as usual. He made a statement during a meeting with a delegation led by the newly installed Emir of Dossi, Mohamed Sanusi, at the State House in Abuja. Wari noted that the stunning outcome of the National Assembly elections, in which at least 10 governors lost their senatorial bids, was a, test, a testament to the maturity of Nigerians' democracy and the amazing sophistication of the voter. But Buhari expressed surprise at the outcome, saying that he was shocked that the ordinary citizen who is usually underrated has demonstrated a deep understanding of politics. The president added that the election results served as proof that there is no longer a guaranteed route to power and the voter is truly the king. He wondered politics would be more difficult in the future and no one should underrate the Nigerian voter anymore. Many outgoing governors, including Samuel Artem of Benue State, Ifani Uwanya of Enugu State, Okeze Ikbazo of Abia State, and Ben Ayode of Cross River State, lost their senatorial bid in the election. Wari noted that the assumption was always that governors would serve for eight years and then go to the Senate to crown their career. But the recent election results have changed the political landscape in Nigeria. During the meeting, the Emir of Dossi listed several government projects that have put in place for Jigawa State under the Buhari presidency, including the approval of a, re a link to Dossi from Kano, the restoration of peace to the state, the entire nation, and the neighboring countries that had suffered insecurity in the past. The president promised to do his best for the states in the few weeks left in office and to brief his successor, Bola Tinubu, on a request made by the Emir. President Wari also expressed his condolence over the deaths of the late Emir, Nunu Sanusi, and said that he and the entire nation would continue to miss his friend, the Emir, and the leader of delegation thank the Buhari regime for their assistance in helping Jigawa State say in major rice production and welcome the upgrading of the army battalion in Dossi to full military brigade. The outcome of the Nigerian elections has shown that the Nigerian voter is no longer to be underrated. The recent elections have demonstrated the maturity of Nigerian democracy and the amazing sophistication of the 
Volta. President Buhari has acknowledged this fact and warned that politicians in the country will no longer be business. Politics in the country will no longer be business as usual. Okay. Now that President Muhammad Buhari understands that Nigerians are, now, are no longer joking, that Nigerians are now taking the, the politics as business in the sense that they no longer leave it again for the old men to decide what happens in the political circle. Now the question is, are they actually allowing Nigerians for their will? That is another thing. Not just, say, not just saying Nigerians uh, are now speaking through the ballot, you know, bars. Are they actually allowing Nigerians to really display their will? Because that is the issue. This past election, even the next generation to come will not forget it in a hurry. Yes, the first time in history, Nigerians want to change the narratives. Everybody came out to vote and they got disappointed with the way the government of uh, APC handled it. INEC has a body who promised Nigerians heaven and earth. Even President Mahmoud Obari did also. But not, we did not, uh, what, what, all their promises, all of them was dashed out with what happened that very day. Nigerians not a happy nine with the truth. Nigerians not happy because they told us that the election is going to be free and fair. Transparent election will be conducted this time around. Did we actually witness that? That is the question. I'm dropping it to guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.